Hi everyone, welcome to today's uh, video. So in today's video, uh, we are going to show you how to fix a problem in Power BI wherein the visual or the chart is sorting uh, just alphabetically. So let's say that you want to customize a certain way to sort your charts. Uh, this is a one workaround to fix that problem. So I already loaded here a uh, data a table. So we're in, I have customer name and then I have age group and then I have the amount sold. So let's say that I am going to create a visual out of this so that I could demonstrate to you the problem that you will encounter in Power BI that I want to fix in this video. So I'm going to create a regular column chart, clustered column chart here. And then I'm going to drag the amount sold in the y-axis and then i'm going to drag the age group to the x-axis so you will see that i have a sort of like a histogram wherein i have the different amounts sold depending on the age group so what you see here is that it is sorted from highest to lowest and this is the common default of most visuals where in Power BI will sort your chart or your visual based on the amount or based on a certain number. So you can change that. Uh, you can go here in the visual. There's this more options, the three dots on the upper right of the visual. And there's an option there wherein you can click sort and you can change which axis the visual will sort. So right now, as you could see, the sum of amount sold is the one checked. Therefore, that is why it is sorted based on the amount sold. So I could change how this is sorted by clicking the other option, age group. Now, as you will see, I now have a different arrangement of the data points. So it's not sorted by the amount anymore, but rather based on the uh, age group. However, Power BI will simply sort this alphabetically. So you will notice that I have here B for below 18, and then I have the A and then the number. So currently it is sorted in a descending um, order. That is why the letter B came in first before the letter A and then before the numbers. So if I change this to sort ascending, you will see that the number, the 40 and above, is the first one followed by the letter A's. And then it's arranged age 18, 26, 29, 32, below 18. So the problem is that I need the below 18 to be on the left side and the 40 and above to be on the right side so that it would make sense. So unfortunately, Power BI has no idea what you're sorting here. So you have to use what we call a custom sort. So for the custom sort, you need to have a list of these values in the y-axis. So you need this. You need a list containing all of these brackets, age groups. And I would create a table that contains them. So I'm going to click here under Home. And then I'm going to go to Enter Data. So the Enter Data tool allows us to create data directly in Power BI without getting any data source. So I could simply create a table in Power BI itself. So from here, I could type the values that I want to be in my uh, sorting table. So the first one is below 18. That's what I want to be in the first one. So I'm going to type here below 18. So the next one that I want is uh, age 18 and 25. You just have to make sure that you're going to type it exactly as how it is in your visual so that it will create a relationship later with this table. So I'm going to create the next one, 26 to 28. Now it's also possible that you get this uh, data from Excel. So I actually prepared here in advance a table containing the different age groups that I have. So just to show you that we could actually get this um, information from an uh, Excel file, for example, then I'm going to copy it and paste it over here. So it actually is something that you can prepare in advance in Excel so that you don't have to type it one by one, especially if you have a lot. So I'm going to name this, let's say age grouping. 
then I'm going to do another column here and this is actually what is important and that is let's say let's name this as the sort number so this column i will put one two three four five and six so i'm telling power bi that this is the data that uh i want to be in order so but below 18 should be the first one h18 the second one and so on so i will name this table here at the lower portion so let's say this is my age group table and then once i have this table created i could then click uh, load and power bi is now loading that new table that we created directly in power bi so it's currently being uh, loaded okay so it's taking some time but eventually it will pardon for my laptop it's a bit slow today okay and right now i pause the recording and i'm back and it's already loaded it took some time there so it's already loaded i could see here that in my table view my age group table is now in my power bi report so the next thing that i have to do is i have to create a relationship between these two tables that I have. So I have to go to model view and I have to create a relationship. So I'll start creating from the table that I made and then drag the age grouping and drag it over here in the age group field of the table that I had a while ago. So you just have to drag from the age grouping and then drag it here. And Power BI is now creating the relationship between these two tables. And you would know that you are successful if it realized that it's in a one-to-many relationship. So meaning all the age grouping that I have in the table that I made is unique, no duplicates. While the age group in the table, the original data table that I have, repeated many times. So now I have to go back to my report. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the original age group that I have and use the age grouping that I created in the age group table. So I'm going to drag the age grouping from the age group table. And you will see that it's going to update accordingly. But you will see that it's still not doing it correctly. So if I sort this again by age grouping you will see that it is still not properly arranged so there's still one more step that we have to do so what we have to do next is we have to go back to the table view and in the table view we have to declare how the age grouping has to be sorted whenever it needs to be the sorting column so what I have to do is click the age grouping. So take note, I am the table. I am in the table that we've created. I'm going to click the age grouping table. And then right above the ribbon, you should see column tools. And under column tools, you should see there sort by column. So I'm going to declare that this column should be sorted based on the sort number not based on the age grouping because if we keep that keep it that way then it will keep sorting alphabetically so we're going to declare that the sorting basis of that column is the sort number column so as you could see the sort by column is now uh, working on it and power bi now knows that the column that we should use to sort the age grouping is the sort number and actually that's it we simply have to go back to the report and when we are in the report, you should see that it is now arranged correctly. It's just currently sorted in descending order. So I have to change it to ascending so that it starts from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I now click that. And as you can see, it's now fixed. So that is how to fix or create a custom sort in Power BI. This is also the solution that you will use if Power BI 
is sorting your months, for example, let's say January, February, March, April, May not being detected as the correct way that months would be arranged, you can use the same technique that I have here to fix that problem. But I can show that in another video. But for now, that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to use the comment section. And if this video helped you, I would appreciate a like and subscribe to the channel. For now, that's it. Thank you and see you in the next video.